from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. All right, well, as expected, feeling more like winter out there today. In fact, temperature is not even getting out of the 50s this afternoon. It's going to be a cold night ahead. We're heading for the 30s and then staying cool as we round out the weekend tomorrow and really for much of that 10 day forecast. So we'll take a look at it in just a second. But first, let's get a check on temperatures around Acadiana here at the uh, top of the hour. We're now approaching uh, 1019. Most of us at 40 degrees. Lafayette, New Iberia and Jennings. Opelousas, you're at 37 under clear skies. Now uh, there are freeze warnings that are in effect, uh, at least for portions of Acadiana, really St. Landry, Evangeline and Allen parishes on northward. That's going to run through about eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So we could see some patchy frost developing in spots. Just keep that in mind. You may want to protect uh, any tender vegetation that you may have. And of course, make sure the pets have a warm place to stay. But uh, again, we saw a few showers going back to last night and early, early this morning, but all of that quickly pushed out of here and uh, we did see some cloud cover this afternoon, but really it was back to mostly sunny skies, but still temperatures not able to get out of the 50s. And again, with clear skies in place tonight, the wind starting to settle down just a bit that will allow temperatures to drop into the 30s. So mid to upper 30s first thing tomorrow morning, definitely jackets uh, and coats if you're heading out early tomorrow morning and it stays cool into the afternoon despite mostly sunny skies. Temperatures once again only topping out in the upper 50s. We'll start to see some cloud cover increasing tomorrow night, Monday morning, but still a chilly start upper 30s to lower 40s. Most of uh, Monday during the day will be dry and it probably will be the warmest day in that 10 day forecast upper 60s, maybe briefly hitting 70 degrees, but it's going to depend on the cloud cover and then we're going to see this surface low feature kind of tracking off uh, here to our south uh, really uh, through the Gulf of Mexico and that should help to give us a pretty good chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms going into Monday night. Uh, still on track for a decent soaking, especially if you're long and south of the I-10 corridor. That's where one to two inches of rainfall could be possible. Lower amounts as you get farther to the north. We'll have more on that coming up tomorrow, so stay tuned. But for tonight, again, best chance to get close to freezing is going to be northern parishes of Acadiana, so we'll favor lower to middle 30s there, mid to upper 30s here along the I-10 corridor, and then pretty much similar uh, numbers across the coastal parishes as well. And then after that cold start, it'll be cool tomorrow afternoon, upper 50s, but mostly sunny skies, so not a bad end to the weekend. Stays chilly Monday morning, but a few degrees milder, upper 30s to lower 40s. And then again, I think we're going to favor the mid to upper 60s Monday afternoon uh, with those showers and storms uh, starting uh, to move on in late Monday uh, afternoon and then going into Monday night. So 30 Six, the projected low, at least here in Lafayette, slightly colder outlying areas to the north. That's where we have that freeze warning that's going to run until about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Otherwise, very nice into the weekend tomorrow. Upper 50s, mostly sunny and uh, definitely we'll call it cool. Lighter winds out there today, quite breezy. Tomorrow, not quite as breezy, but still we'll say 6 to 12 miles per hour with those winds coming out of the northeast. Monday, again, most of Monday during the day dry. Temperatures mid to upper 60s, but we're going to increase rain chances uh, late on Monday going into Monday night. Decent soaking, uh, at least for some parts of Acadiana. Uh, and then thereafter, again, we're going to keep the cool to chilly uh, weather in the forecast with your high temperatures, mostly in the 50s and 60s overnight lows in the 30s and 40s. So have you adjusted or it just kind of like hit you this morning? Like, wow, it's, it's actually winter. It really hit me this morning, but me and some friends were talking and we're ready for it. But